And I know one of the things that you believe in is that everybody should have that personal mission statement. Correct. So first of all, let's dive in a little bit deeper there. I'd love to hear like, why do you believe in that? And maybe also sharing what's yours. Yeah, I mean, so it's a great question. And I mean, the the short answer is, is how it came to me was I was sitting in an office one time and this company had this great mission statement on a wall. And I started saying to myself, like, it's so fascinating how most of the top companies have a mission statement. Some of them, the employees know, some they don't know, they just know how to carry it out. Like, so for example, at Disney, their mission statement last I heard was to make people, especially children happy. And I would say not every employee knows that that's what their mission statement is, but they all know that if a kid drops an ice cream cone at Disney, you're allowed to pick it up even as an employee and replace it, no questions asked. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's them knowing the mission statement without actually knowing the words of the mission statement. And so it occurred to me that these companies that continued to stay at the top mostly had a very clear mission statement. And I realized we're the CEO of our own lives, you know, for lack, it's cheesy, but it's true. And so maybe we need to have our own mission statement. Like maybe every individual needs to have one. And then I start recognizing that if you want to decide what you should do and shouldn't do and what to take on, what to not take on, a mission statement would allow you to do that because it would tell you if this thing is aligned with your goals or not. So to answer your question, that's the why. And my own mission statement is to be the guy that motivates, donates, educates, entertains, and inspires. It's those five things. And I carry it around in my wallet. And the idea that I have there is that uh, by knowing this mission statement, if somebody asks me to take something on, if it's zero or one of those, it becomes an easy no without regret. But Mm -hmm. if it's four or five of those five things, it becomes an easy yes without regret. So it actually guides my decisions. It guides me down the path I should go. There's so much bigger that comes from it. But I think at the very core, at least, it reminds me and serves to me, here's what I was put here to do, to motivate, to donate, to entertain, educate, inspire. And so that reminds me of how I should be living my life. But also at the same time, it serves as a great way to recognize what a yes and a no is to me. Yeah, and I love that because it brings that clarity and this is for everyone tuning in here ask yourself what's my mission statement and maybe we all can start finding that because we are many of us in this podcast listeners they want to live their purpose that's kind of the overall but that's kind of getting more how, what's your mission here i talk about soul's missions here as well so finding that core and there, because there is so many things that can come on the way. Like if you're on the mission, there is abundance here of choices in the world. And like you said, you have then like that clear uh, un- understanding what's in for you and what's not. And can you talk a little bit more about the power of no and what that means and how it can benefit people? 